Okay guys, so about the V-twin not turning over, um, I've received some and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to adjust the valve lash. I should have done this a long time ago, um, but um, if I knew this, I would have done this a long time ago. I looked at uh, Dorney Boy 73's channel and you know he had a video on it. This is exactly what my engine is doing, and this engine actually did that for a while. And I've looked online; a lot of people had problems with their intakes not turning over. So, if you're watching this video, I have an intake just is not turning over. Then you just gotta do that. I mean, this engine would still start obviously, but it would wouldn't turn over the best. But anyway, back to this. Yeah, we're gonna. Um, do that. The uh, valve clearance is supposed to be set from um, four to six thousandths. I got my feeler gauge right here. So we get that in there and I'm gonna adjust these valves. Okay, Put the valve cover off. Turn this thing over. Exhaust valve goes in, all the way in. So this one's loose. Okay, you can see this valve is so loose I can fit the eleven thousandths right in there. So need to tighten that to about five thousandths. First, I'm going to loosen this jam nut. If I can get her. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so five thousandths, put that in there. You can see that's really Tighten up the jam nut now. I think we should be adjusted now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and do all the rest of them. You can see five thousandths goes right in there with just a little bit of resistance. I'm gonna go on and do all the other ones and then we'll try and get this thing started. So I got um, the valves all adjusted as you saw there, got them all done, put the valve covers back on, and the fuel isn't hooked up yet, but that fixed the problem. Look at this. That wants to fire. There's nothing to fire right now, but yeah, I'm going to, thanks for the comments guys, that really helped. Um, I'm going to get, I'm going to figure out how to get some fuel hooked up to this, and then then we'll try and get this thing started. Yeah, that's way better than it was. Should have done that a lot sooner. That rotates better than it does than it did when we mowed lawn with it. <laughs> well, now I learned another thing about small engines. And before I do that, I want to show you guys this. Yep, 
Just my little shop cat. His name's Sparky. He's purring right now. Yeah, he just came up here and comes and goes as he wants. Goes out the doggy door. Yeah. Yeah, you headbutting the camera. Okay, so it's the next day and I've decided that I'm not going to start it up. Um, it did start up, like I said, on the, another update. But yeah, it just started a little bit on starting fluid. Um, and it ran nice. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to wait until we can get this in the MTD and get it all wired up to start it. Really run it. Just walking around. Alright, so I guess we'll see you next time.